Well, the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, has a top advisor, and her role is to be the after dark ambassador in London. <laughs> and she's just received a 40% pay rise in the middle of a cost of living crisis. <laughs> after dark ambassador. <laughs> so, so. The actual phrase, the, the real title is the Night Tsar. The, yeah, we have Tsars in this country. So, Amy Lama. Amy Lama, absolutely fascinating character who has been hired by this man, Sadiq Khan, in order to help London's nightlife. Now, who is Amy? This is Amy Lama. <laughs> Amy Lama has been uh, in power. Uh, for the past uh, few years under the leadership of Sadiq Khan. This is a lovely photo. I just <laughs> can't, can't, I just can't. Anyway, she's been absolutely terrible. It's been a waste of taxpayers' money. Her role was to help London. She's, took, she's taken all the money. And I'm going to give you the list of what's actually happened under her role as Night Tsar. And what she's actually been focusing on. So this is Amy. She loves taking photos and at the top of uh, City Hall where... She works with uh, her bestie, Sadiq Khan. She's the night czar, called After Dark Ambassador. <laughs> they do know what that means, right? Okay. It has a different meaning, After Dark Ambassador. 40% pay rise. Her salary has now reached £116,925 a year. Literally, just below what the Prime Minister earns. Just about the same. Now, under her... The last, well, recent years, 25% of night venues in London have closed. 25%. Her role was genuinely supposed to be to help London go through post-lockdown and everything else. And before that, everything else has happened. But no, 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 no. London is not open for business. Now, what's, what's her background? What she's actually done until now? Because she seems to be a very professional, a very politically neutral person. Uh-oh. Nope. Both are wrong. So, <laughs> in the past, she got into trouble for off offensive tweets against conservatism. So, not, not just Tories, but conservatism. She celebrated the death of Lady Thatcher. <clears throat> yeah. So, as, I mean, oh, so normal people could do whatever they want, but she, she was in a public eye. And, you know, she was doing all this stuff and other roles, whatever. It's not a good look. And she faced questions over her dodgy tax arrangements. Hmm. Dodgy tax arrangements. That's not a good look, Amy. Not a good look. Yet, Sadiq Khan and his team, either they didn't vet her or they did vet her and just turned a blind eye because she is one of them. You know what that means? One of them? Yeah. Because she's using your money, the British taxpayers, to go around and talk about virtue signaling. Talk about wokeism. This is her video talking about uh, from prejudice to pride. Yeah, the rainbow pride. I wrote the chapter about the history of pride first. And it was a really joyful thing to write, to delve into our history, to realize uh, that this amazing celebration uh, and commemoration has come out uh, from protest. And, you know, pride these days, at least in the UK and in the States, you know, is very well known for feather boas and sequins and all sorts of parties. Um, all sort of parties, yeah. It's, it's the feather stuff and everything else. <laughs> we actually did a great journey in this country when it comes to basic social liberalism in the 20th century. We, 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 we did liberation. Everyone's we're definitely fine with everything until the political left brought things back old fights and certain things from America like BLM fights and they decided to cause division. We were all getting along. Everything was becoming better and genuinely progressive, not in a like, left wing with an agenda progressive. Now these people are being regressive because they keep going back in time um, and she's obsessed with protests, obviously. Now that's one thing. But again, there's another issue. Uh, there's another video, um, again, when it comes to her version of a feminism. My name is Amy LeMay. I am the Night Tsar of London. Every day is important for women, but I think having an International Women's Day is particularly important because it shines a light 
on gender inequality and just how much work there is left to do. Be bold for change. Really? Okay. I have no problem with the concept of International Women's Day, generally speaking. This is not really about that. It's been going on for years. The problem is, all these idiots, they dominate these topics, they embrace them for their own agenda. The whole point was to celebrate womanhood. At the same time, they're cancelling women. And, well, meanwhile, when they talk about women's rights, or well, celebrating women's um, liberation and freedoms, they are still bringing back the old fights of women inequality. Okay, what? Is this the same topic that you had before? The same debate of the gender pay gap as opposed to actual uh, gender um, equal pay? Because that, there are two different debates. And we've already debunked the left-wing attempt to dominate the debate and to cause division. Stop doing this. And you, the normal people out there, they are being repelled by the political left but the issue is that they are now targeting children and our kids in schools, they are being brainwashed by these nutters who are using taxpayers' money to go out there and spread their toxic agenda. That is the truth. It's not just my truth, like Prince Harry, it is the truth. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.